Hello, I'm Malcolm Cabby here. <coughs> and I know I've mentioned this um, before, but I'm just like reading some more of these uh, these headlines coming through about um, Jordan Henderson with, with Sunland. Uh, so apparently Sunland are working on a sensational Jordan Henderson deal. Um, so Sunland are working on a stunning deal to re-sign Jordan Henderson in the January transfer window. Uh, the championship side have made um, contact over a potential deal for the 34-year-old as they plan a New Year promotion assault. Um, Sunderland, of course, believe the experienced midfielder can lead them back to the Premier League, with the club currently top of the championship after the opening nine games. Um, sources have told that Ajax will not stand in Henderson's way should he want to depart the club. And of course, with it being his boyhood club, why would he not want to come back to Sunderland? Win-win situation, if you ask me. Anyway, the Black Cats could offer the England National a short-term deal until the end of the season with a 12-month option to extend it. Henderson, of course, has made 12 appearances for the Dutch Giants so far this season and is under contract till 20. 26. Um, Henderson, of course, as we know, kick-started his career in the youth setup before breaking into the first team in 2008. Um, and the central midfielder spent three years at the stadium alike before making the move to Liverpool, playing 79 times for the club. Um, Henderson completed a controversial move, as we all know, to Saudi Arabia side El Efatak um, in 2023 after a 12-year spell at Anfield, but only spent six months at the club before moving to Ajax. Sunderland are sitting ahead of Sheffield United in the Championship, only on goal difference, as the club aims to return to the Premier League for the first time since 2017. So the Black Cats will be back in action, of course, after the international break on the 20th of October against Hull City. And you will see the um, live match um, uninterrupted commentary and uh, watch along and banter with myself, the Mackham Cabby. So, yeah, it's it's starting to creep up again and again and again with Jordan Henderson. And I've been reading, like, a few um, of the comments and stuff on this one. We'll get some of the um, Sunderland fans' reactions on this. <coughs> I'll just read a few. Um, Arthur says, think it's more of a dream for him than myself. Uh, he'd love to get us promoted. Yes, he won everything at Liverpool. But was he really that good of a player? Mm, harsh there, isn't it? As, personally, I don't think he was just a perfect fit into the Liverpool squad. But, hey, everybody's entitled to the opinions. And that's um, from Arthur. Um, Martin Coombs says he speaks uh, for all Sunderland fans. My heart says a definite yes. His experience, his love for the club, his ability, his everything says an absolute yes. But we have an exciting young team. Probably the best I've seen in years. Uh, supporting the lads, and do we want to disrupt this? Um, I know Dan has had um, some of his so-so performances, but he's our future. So who would be displaced to accommodate Hendo? Bring him back as a mentor, perhaps coach, and register him as a player in emergencies, then maybe, but my head says no. Um, what else is there? Um, Mark um, Plymouth says, uh, the timing is perfect for me, plus a short-term agreement would suit both parties. It would give him a new lease of life, and what an emotional return it would be if we can get promoted. Um, Jamie Anderson says, as if we didn't learn from Jermaine Defoe, it very rarely works out second time round. Um, Paulo Doherty says, Good to have an old head within such a young side. Just saying, um, great move going forward and an asset as a future coach, ambassador, stroke manager. And finally, Lynn Anderson says, would be perfect. Can you imagine the fans as you walked out onto the pitch? So there we go. There's a few um, negative comments and there's a few obviously positive ones there. There's a lot more, so I'm not going to bore and read it out with. So there we go. I mean, I've brought it up before, but this has just cropped up again today. And, um, yeah, let us know your, your comments. So let's face it, there's um, it's the, the crappy Nations League, isn't it? There's no going on with Sunderland. But when there is bits and bobs coming up, I will tell you and have a crack on with you. Because let's face it, we cannot believe we've stopped the Football League to watch that absolute sheer dross um, the other night against Greece. 
Don't get me started. Anyway, enjoy your Saturday night, whatever you do. Um, I'm home alone. Uh, wife and the kids and the in-laws are, not, are at Turkey. They're on holiday. I don't like flying. I'm chilling out. They're chilling out. We're all happy. Have a great Saturday. Uh, love yous and leave us for now. Catch you later.